Yeah, in a video I did not very long ago, I talked in general about the cultural sensitivity that you see today. We live in this politically correct climate. And in one, in one specific example that very much shows this is that if you look at James Bond, you realize that, frankly, it's hard to stay faithful to what to what James Bond originally was. It's hard to really stay faithful to the fantasy of James Bond in this era of cultural sensitivity and political correctness. Why do I say that? Because the fun, the basic idea of James Bond, the traditional take on James Bond is that he's this handsome, smooth, suave, charming, awesome, talented spy who's also a womanizer that sleeps with a different woman every night. You can already see, based on what I'm saying, how it's hard to stay faithful to that in this era where, because of the internet and social media, people can very quickly say what they think. And therefore, we live in this era where filmmakers are more hesitant to push the envelope, push the boundaries, because they're worried about getting cancelled. You can see with James Bond that it's hard to stay faithful to what James Bond traditionally is, that fantasy of James Bond in this era we live in. Heck, you look at recent James Bond movies, even in the, even there, there's jokes made about being politically correct. So it seems like even filmmakers who are making modern-day James Bond films know that it's hard to stay faithful to what James Bond always has been in this era of cultural sensitivity, where we're not getting as many comedies as we used to, not as many R-rated comedies are coming out as before. Today's jokes are cancelable within a month. So you can see it's hard with James Bond. That isn't to say that James Bond is dead. No, a James Bond movie called Skyfall came out in 2021. It actually was successful. It made money at the box office and it got good reviews. So it's not that James, there are no James Bond films coming out or there are no successful movies coming out. It's just that it's become harder to stay faithful in this era of cultural sensitivity we live in. Heck, you go back and re-watch some of the older James Bond films, there are moments in those movies that are legitimately hard to watch that involve James Bond and women. You're like, ooh, wow, this is kind of stuff that does not fly anymore. You would not not be able to get away with putting this in a movie anymore. And the movie would get canceled, very obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty interesting, I would say.